Hello everybody, it's your Beauty87 here and today we're going to have a couple of things to try out. I got a drugstore thing and then I got like, uh, I guess a high-end thing because it's at Sephora you consider it high-end. But um, yeah, so I have the Prism um, highlighter from, what is this, Kaja, the Mo Mochi Glow highlighter. I have the color number 2 Prism. I actually found this at TJ Maxx for like $4.99 so I was like, we can try it out for $4.99. It still wasn't the color I wanted. They had a more bronzy color. And, of course, y'all know that's more of my thing. But, you know, beggars can't be choosy. So, I got what they had. Especially since it was $4.99. This is what the color looks like. It's like more of a pink prism type situation. I figure I can set it with, like, a gold one on top. And maybe it'll, like, look nicer. I'm sorry. Concealer's on my leg. Let's just pat that in real nicer. Now, why my leg will be concealed today, I don't know. But, hey, I'm just going to go with it. It's a vibe. Um, this is what it looks like. I'm going to swatch it on the back of my hand. Hmm. I don't. S so it's literally just like this really pinky type, glittery type situation. So I'm definitely gonna have to put a um skin tone highlighter over that just to make it work for me. Cause otherwise I'm gonna just be out in the streets looking crazy and we can't be doing that. So I have to get something ahead of the mirror. Here we go. Um, I was gonna do a couple eyeshadow videos today, but the eyeshadows haven't showed up yet. So if they don't show up by three o'clock today, I will not be doing it because I will be taking this off and taking a nap before I go to work tonight. Um, but yeah, so, um, let's start off with this highlight, um, I'm gonna just put it in a couple of places. I probably won't like, most likely put it on the side of my, um, face, because I feel like my skin tone is not gonna look that well, but I figured if you put it in other subtle little places. Oh, well, it doesn't look that bad. It just looks like a whole bunch of glitter. So, you know. Yeah, it's not that bad at all quite subtle which I'm kind of um, feeling because of the type of you know color it is it needs to be subtle in my opinion especially because I don't feel like colors like this necessarily normally look good on people my skin tone so I might actually go ahead and put this on the sides of the face since you know it's not looking as bad as I thought it was it's see it's just giving like a light little subtle Shimmer, like I got it right here, up here, all along here, and it's looking pretty decent. I am going to now set it with another highlighter. I just brought the um, Flower Beauty highlighter palette in here, the one um, that just came out. Now, mind you, mine broke like after I did the video. I'll leave the video up above in the cards, but it literally like broke on me, y'all. So I was like, are they serious? So these are, but I think I remember um, Andrea Martellano saying how um, this was um, a uh, really light, light um, formula, so you had to be careful with the palette. Sorry, y'all, I had like a whole blurring part there, as you probably heard in the silence. Um, and I was too busy, like, oh, this highlight looks banging on my face. Yes. So. I'm just putting the highlighter in other places that, you know, need to be highlighted. I wouldn't necessarily use that color in. But as like an accent highlight in the middle of my face, it looks really nice. It's just I wouldn't put it, you know, all over my face. Unless it was like some kind of like festival thing or situation I was trying to like make a vibe out of. But, you yeah, know. Otherwise, I can't say I would. So now that we got all this highlight on, let's get into this setting spray. So I have um, the new setting spray. I saw Kathleen's lights with this, and when I went to Walmart, I saw it. So I was like, okay, I'll try it out. This is the Lumi Shake and Glow Dew Mist. I'm wondering if it could be a good dupe for the Tatcha um, Dewy Skin Mist. I don't know. It says it primes and hydrates. You can set your face, or you can use it as a refresher throughout the day. And it's supposed to um, extend makeup wear, have a natural looking finish. And be non greasy. So I sprayed it in store because she's talking about how amazing it smells. And I didn't really smell anything. That's why I was like, am I missing like the smell? Or I don't know. So it does have a nice mister though, I will give it that. But I don't smell anything like so wonderful that makes it smell so great. So I don't know. Maybe it's me. But anyway, we're gonna spray it and then see what happens. So let's see if it has a natural um, finish, if you will, like they claim after I dab it into the face. Because I like to dab mine into my face, and then I'll go back and I spray it again, and you just um, 
let the spray uh, fan in the spray on its own. So this was my first go round of spray. Because I would normally do this with a different spray. But I was like, since we're using this for the video, we just use it all the way. So now we're going to take it and um, we'll spray it on its own. So, okay. Get my fan. And so far, um, based upon using it and spraying it and smelling all of it, it's reminding me of this Glam Glow Gold setter setting spray. I don't know if anybody remembers this. I actually really, really love this. I left it in my uh, family member's house that we had just went to visit over the weekend. So I was super excited that they still had it. Now, I can clearly see they used it a lot because when I brought it, it was like right there. I don't know if they used it on their makeup or they just been using this perfume because they didn't know what it was because they're older people. But so far, this setting spray is reminding me of this one. So if you want me to do a comparison, comparing the two, let me know and I'll gladly do it. But, yeah, it, this is definitely giving me the vibe of the Glam Glow Glow Setter um, Setting Spray. So, you might see that in the works coming soon. We'll see. Um, but, anyway, the Setting Spray, um, it's okay. I mean, I like the Glam Glow one. And I like that one just fine. It might be a good, cheaper alternative if you don't want to buy the Glam Glow one. Because I think the Glam Glow one is like 36 or 38 or something like that. It was something outrageous, if I remember correctly. And I don't recommend to spend that kind of money on a setting spray because the drugstore actually has pretty decent setting sprays. My latest video that um, y'all have been watching a lot of is like about uh, a drugstore versus high-end setting spray. And it lasts just as well as the high-end setting spray that everybody's been talking about forever. Um, I will link that video up above or at the end, the end cards. But anyway, so... The setting spray is good to me. The um, highlighter, it's okay. Like if you can get it on at TJ Maxx like I did for $4.99, I would recommend it. Otherwise, I wouldn't because it just looks like when you rub it on, it just looks like glitter and that's it. And it's like, you know, like I'm sure you have other highlighters that have more natural looking finishes and look better. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend this Kaja Mochi Glow highlighter. I don't think Kathleen Lights really liked it either when she did her um, full face of Sephora um or cheapest things as a four or whatever video if I remember correctly she wasn't that crazy about the highlighter either so I wouldn't recommend that but I would recommend the setting spray for you to try out especially if you were looking at the glam glow one because I'm feeling like that's a really good dupe and you'll probably see a dupe video on that coming next week or something like that or I'll film it next week I don't know when you'll actually see it but anyway I hope you enjoyed this video remember you all are diamonds and I will see you in the next one bye